Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. EA Sports did something yesterday on FIFA 23 that they almost never do, and that is drop an insane value SBC for a pro-level meta card. And yes, I'm talking about the Jarzinho Icon SBC. That's what I'm going to break down today and take you through why it's such a big deal that we got that SBC at the price point that we did at this time of the year, and also with what's out right now with Winter Wild Cards and what's coming with Team of the Year. In the next 30 days, that card's going to be a must-complete SBC for a lot of people. If you set your mind to it, it might take you a lot less work than you actually think. So we're going to take a look through that. And of course, today's a Thursday, right? We got marquee matchups, of course. We expect that every Thursday. But something that we don't know about today is what's going to happen with like a loading screen, with the leaks, with just the news in general, with Winter Wildcards Team 1 leaving packs tomorrow with rewards today, with marquee matchups, as we mentioned. It's a big day for supply. I expect to see the Winter Wildcards dropping today in price. Could that mean there's a good potential to invest in a couple of these cards before they go out of packs? And could we see a loading screen today uh, just kind of teasing us some of the new Winter Wild cards for team number two? Of course, we do know this is a two-week promo. It says on EA's website. I mean, every time they say a team one, right, which they have said in, in multiple things for this team right now for winter wild cards we know there's a team two coming so really interested to see if we get and some details on that today maybe some leaks maybe a loading screen we're going to talk about a lot today so if you're excited for it hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new we got to start by talking about this big time icon sbc and we're talking about a player sbc guys i mean these days in fifa everybody gets excited for the gamble packs right like the 86 plus hero player pick that was out a couple days ago that's what people get excited for but back in the day the icon sbcs remember when these first came out like fifa 18 fifa 19 these got people so excited because it gave you a chance at getting a really good level really high tier player an icon player at a fraction of the cost on the market because you were able to craft that player through SBCs and still get packs back. And then you didn't have to worry about the card throughout the rest of the year because you had it in tradable, untradable in your ultimate team. I mean, the draw is still there for icons. Yes, the chemistry for icons this year is not that great. But when you drop an SBC like this, which is what EA did yesterday, they dropped a Jarzinho 90, which this is a brand new icon of FIFA. So there's hype. For that in the initial stage. Secondly, he's five star skills, four star weak foot. Really, really, really insane card in the game. So insane, in fact, that this is a pro level card. Pros have been using this card during the year that he has been out. I mean, this guy was three and a half million coins at the beginning of the year. Absolutely mental player that EA have dropped before the leak came out that he was going to get an SBC. This guy was 1.5 to 1.6 million coins and the SBC cost is coming in right around a million coins and that's with SBC fodder even rising slightly in price because people are going out and buying it to do this SBC. That's what I want to spend a time talking about this SBC because it's just insane that EA have released this elite level player, a pro card card that a, pro, a pros use, right? For so many people, this card seems unattainable off the market. 1.1 million coins right now, of course, dropping off because the value of the SBC is insane. And then, of course, as we talked about too, I mean, this guy was 1.5 million coins a couple weeks ago. But a million coin SBC, a lot of us know you can get this done for a lot less than a million coins. You're not buying every single fodder player for this. you got stuff in the club. And, of course, right now in Winter Wild Cards, it is so easy to craft with the player picks that we have here the league SBCs to get fodder you've got all the swaps packs that are available from winter wildcard swaps the 83 times 25 times 3 the 85 times 10 all of those and then you've got all these extra random packs here the winter wildcards daily login everybody yesterday got a um 84 times 5 pack today on thursday we're all going to be getting 50k packs and tradable if you've been keeping up with this daily sbc you've got loans coming you got 85 doubles every single day 81 times 11s upcoming fodder is so easy to come by right now in this game especially the extra packs we're doing the league sbcs you got extra player picks for foot champs this week guys fodder is everywhere that means that it is so much so much so much of a great time to craft an sbc like this jarzinho so ea could literally have not dropped this great of an sbc at any better of a time and get this oh let's say you don't want to do them right now like me i'm focusing on tony cruz payette some of these winter wildcard sbcs 
This guy's going to be out in a month during the height of Team of the Year, which is another incredible, incredible crafting opportunity. A lot of packs will be out. A lot of upgrade packs will be out. And everybody will be trying to pack Team of the Years and also getting a lot of fodder. So this, for me, is an incredible, incredible SBC. You're going to be able to get it done over the next couple of weeks or get it done right away with the fodder that you have at a really, really solid price. I mean, when an SBC like this is actually a million coins from a straight up craft value, you can probably end up getting it done for 500K or less. And a lot of people, a lot less than that because of just getting fodder from those upgrade packs that's why this SBC is so good. And again, let me reiterate, this is a guy that multiple people have talked to me about is, is one of the most meta cards in this game when it comes to attackers. And you can tell, right? People are going out and doing this SBC. And this was even all week when we had the hype leading up to this SBC, like this leak was last week, right? You saw his price drop off a lot and everybody wanted to know, when is the Jartinium SBC gonna drop? When is this SBC gonna be in the game? There's just so much hype around this card. And that hype is warranted because he's actually insane in game. Now, let's talk about fodder, right? Because if there's an SBC like this that is out, it's making fodder go up. Normally, player SBCs don't have this big of a market impact on fodder. But when the player SBCs are this insane of value, they do. Take a look at Benzema, right? High rated, of, of course, yesterday with the couple high rated squads instead of Jorginho. Exploded 51K up to about 55 to 56K. All of these 91s are up about four, five, six thousand coins a card. Lewandowski, Benzema, De Bruyne. And then your 90 rated cards are up a lot as well. Yesterday at the content drop, I went right to the market after seeing Jorginho and spam bought a little bit of fodder because, yes, it was up, right? It was 41,000 coins. Uh, and these guys were like 39K yesterday. But uh, this stuff was instantly in demand as people were going out and doing those high-rated squads um, of the Jarzinho SBC. So your 89s, 90s, and 91s had the biggest rise yesterday. Some people might be like, Nate, why did 88s not go up that much? Well, they did go up a little bit, but only like one to 2,000 coins per card. And really, I'm just, I'm just starting to notice that the 88 section of fodder does not move as good as we thought it did um, throughout this year. Like 88s did insanely well during Black Friday, but that was because there was a specific 88 or higher requirement in that big SBC for the uh, World Cup uh, heroes, right? So the fact of the matter is when you see 87 plus rated squads getting released onto the game, the, the fodder to look at is actually like the 90 to 91 rated cards. If we look in here at the highest two rated squads of Jorginho, look at the cheapest way to do this, right? We'll sort by cheapest price. The cheapest SBC is 300,000 coins. Look what the cheapest way to do it is. You throw in the 90s, the 91s, and then you throw in some 80, 87s, 86s, couple 89s. That is the cheapest way to get an 89 rated squad done as a part of the Jarzino SBC is to use those really high rated players and then throw in a couple of lower ones. Even for the 88 squad, you take a look at the cheapest way to do it. You're throwing in some 84s, a couple 88s, but then you have some 89s in here, right? That's what's making the really high tier on fodder go up the most is these solutions, the cheapest way to do it. And the way fodder is priced right now is the 88s don't have as much demand because it's actually this elite hot top tier of fodder if there's ever an elite tier of fodder elite for the rating right the 91s the 90s and the 89s they're just getting used more in these SBCs. now personally i would be looking to take the cash like all the fodder cards that i bought i have them lazy listed i'm hoping for a little bit of a bounce today after the division rivals rewards time frame people might go out get some coins and go and do these sorts of SBCs and, and be working on jarzinho and stuff so i've been lazy listing my cards right courtois i've been selling it like 47k which isn't really that big of a lazy list anymore um i've got some cards like the benzema listed up i got the monies listed up so i'm selling a few for lazies and hopefully that continues today but i would be looking to get out of that stuff before tomorrow on friday hopefully today we see a bit of a rise and we can get out of it then because with friday comes lightning rounds more supply and yes people are going to want to do the Dar jarzino spc over the weekend but a lot of supply comes in on the weekend and also people are going to know that and they're going to start to panic sell, especially later on into the day on Thursday. I do expect to see our fodder prices dropping just because people will expect them to drop and they want to try to get ahead of that price drop. So just be very careful with your fodder, but it did see a nice rise and there's a lot of profit there. The low tier of fodder continues to do okay. Uh, it's down a little bit. I mean, your 84s are now at 4,000 coins. If you take a look at the market index, it's actually very interesting. This to me shows that a lot of people are doing Jarzinho because where was the tradable pack supply that was dropped on the game yesterday? 
the Jarzinho packs that you get from doing that SBC. That's the only place there was tradable supply yesterday. I mean, yes, there were store packs, but no lightning rounds. So a lot of people are doing Jarzinho just because of the supply that you're seeing. Even some of the winter wildcard prices, they're not really down per se, but some of them are down, or at least they didn't go up yesterday where a lot of the rest of the market still is slightly rising. Klosterman is 81. That might be an undercut. He's been around 84, 85. Yes, yeah, it's, it's an undercut. So he's still around 85,000 coins. Conte is still 840. Joao Felix is down because, of course, a lot of your right wing players with how insane this card is and how many people are going out and doing the Jarzinho, that's one place where the market was impacted big time yesterday if we're transitioning from talking about fodder to just the meta market in general. Right wings were down like crazy. Alawayron was 600,000 coins yesterday before the SBC was dropped. He went down to like 550, 560. He is now back up towards 600K. You have some other elite wing players like, um, you know, this Figo card who can play right wing. Other versions of Jarzinho are down. The Messi team of the tournament card, which is a combination of impacts right now and being panic sold. He's down like over 100,000 coins. He was over 1.2 mil. He is in the low 1.1s. Of course, Garrido. Inches cards are down a lot too. He was in 1.1 mil. That was a 1.4 mil card yesterday. The World Cup icon Garincha is like 870,000 coins at the moment. He was 1.1 yesterday. So a lot of your elite tier right wing players are down. But then on the flip side, some of your Brazilian links and some of your Brazilian meta players like Marquinhos, Lucio, other Brazilian icons, these guys are up as people are linking some of these to the jersey that they have in their teams. Now also you have to think about it. It's not that hard to link an icon. Of course, icons don't contribute to your team's chemistry that well this year in FIFA, but icons themselves are automatically on three chemistry points. You, you just pop them into the team and you kind of go from there. So maybe if you have, you know, some other Brazilian links that need some help, that helps out for chemistry, which is like Danny Alves uh, was a card specifically yesterday that went up from about 130,000 coins, I believe. He was like 150 to 160. Is he right? Is he still there? Yeah, he's 150, 160,000 coins. So a card like this benefits greatly from Jarzinho. It was tough to get him links before. Now it's a bit easier with those nation links that a Jarzinho can provide. So a lot of talk about Jarzinho, but that's because that was the hype yesterday. And again, just the fact that SBC is out. Seriously consider crafting that over the next couple of weeks on this game. You will not be disappointed because that card is, I can't tell you how many times have been dusted by that card in weekend league and rivals and whenever i face them honestly so definitely keep an eye on that that was a crazy happening from yesterday could that also mean that we see another icon sbc today because if you do remember jarzinho was leaked alongside of baby maldini i think there is potential that we could see maldini today or in the coming days um i mean it even seemed far-fetched that we were going to get this jarzinho and if you want to do a quick cheap version of him do the loan version five games try him out in friendlies See how you like him, and then you can undertake the full version if you would like to uh, to get that 90 rated card in your club. But maybe we see Maldini today. Who knows? Thursdays used to be the day where we would get icon player SBCs. We'll have to see if they end up doing a Maldini today. That's something that's on our radar for today on Thursday. But let's talk more about Thursday. We've already mentioned the market a little bit, right? With rivals, rewards, and fodder hopefully going up a bit as people are going out and crafting. Now, for the rest of the market, people still take guys. I, I mean, some of you guys might even do this. A lot of people still take tradable rivals rewards, um, and you've got a lot of the Christmas um, newbies, or some people call them noobs, but people that have gotten the game for Christmas doesn't necessarily mean they're noobs. They might have just waited to get the game until now. You're going to have some extra supply today from rivals rewards, in my opinion, because you got more players on the game. And I think there's a lot of these winter wild cards that today and tomorrow we need to keep an eye on for potential rises out of packs because this winter wild cards team is still. I mean, we have some really insane cards in here with some position changes and some skill move, weak foot boost, and just some really good promo cards. First promo cards of the year for guys like Conte, Sancho, Felix, stuff like that. Uh, Mendy as well. Just to look back at last year and show you guys how well some of these guards did out of packs, look at a guy like Tuan Zebe. Tuan Zebe was his lowest on the Thursday, Wednesday and Thursday before he went out of packs. He went from 150,000 coins to on the weekend being basically 200,000 coins on both consoles. And then two weeks later, 236K, right? That's a really good looking card. I mean, there must have been a lack of Prem center backs last year because that card this year would not probably rise up as much. But even remember the overpowered Jonathan David. You know who reminds me of Jonathan David this year? Lacazette. Although Lacazette is a lot more expensive. Jonathan David was 94K last year and rose to 180,000 coins 
because he was so OP in game and so many people wanted to go ahead and use him. Even on the top tier, look at Pogba. Kind of reminds you of a Conte type card, right? Not 100%, but somewhere in there. Pogba was 950 at his lowest on Thursday, went up the next week to 1.1 million coins. Now, of course, it all does depend on the content that we continue to get. If we continue to get insane player SPCs, which is not really what we see leaked. Again, we talked about that yesterday. The leaked player SBCs that we have right now don't look that great. Yesterday was the start of those where we saw a player SBC that was like not that good, right? We had the Okello SBC, which for a lot of people, this is just not usable and boring. So they're going to skip over, right? 1,500 downvotes. This is nice if you're an MLS fan, stock in the club, 15K, really easy to get. But that's not an SBC on the level of the Payette on the Tony Cruz. Hopefully today things change and turn around a little bit with the Eric Bailly. I really think it might be Eric Bailly today or Silas. Uh, but it could be some of these other guys that have been leaked Um that are just a little bit lower tier like we looked at in yesterday's video. So if that's the case and, and knowing that those leagues are a little bit underwhelming, bar one or two good SBC players in the coming week, maybe if the content is going to end up turning a little bit lackluster, these team one cards could end up going up a decent amount. But we really need to see team two, guys. I really, really need to see the team two leaks because right now, like the, my wanting to invest in the winter wild cards for a potential rise out of packs depends on how insane team two looks. Honestly, that's that's what it boils down to for me because I wouldn't I wouldn't want to buy a Tamori if a Varan card is about to drop that looks absolutely mental and maybe better stats than what the um, Tamori card has or better stats than what the Varan card was that was leaked. You know, I'd want to be really careful buying a guy like Usman Dembele if a Karim Benzema is going to be dropping, if it's a striker Benzema card or, you know, a guy like Conte. I, I like the idea of investing in Conte. He is super duper rare. It's a special Conte card, right? Only two pages right now on the market. And, uh, you know, we've got Alan St. Maximin, we got Varan, we've got a lot of links potentially coming um, for this Conte player. And it's the only Conte special that we have in the game. Kevin De Bruyne with 99 physical, that's just flat out cool, right? I mean, there's a lot of, you know, opportunity here, it seems, to invest in some of these Winter Wild Cards cards. But it really is just going to come down to what this team looks like. And they have to drop today, right? These card prices have jumped up a little bit in price. Now, I will say this. Today is going to be a fantastic time to club stock some of these low-tier guys. Pato, Toljan. Um, Toljan is actually up like 1,000 coins. You want Toljan under 14K if possible, 14K flat and below. Chiellini is a club stock. Verde is 1,000% a club stock. Maybe even a pretty good investment. This guy was like 30K for most of the week, and now he's 21,000 coins, or at least for the weekend. The only problem with Verde is he is minimum um, at his min listing price, so... You know, he could go under that technically. You have to be very careful with that. So that's one that maybe you just buy one of, although he did hold his price very well on the weekend. Uh, but I love Toljan. I love Clivert, Pato, all these guys that are at like the discard value. I even really like Klosterman. I know that compared to Gavardiol, Klosterman's a lot more expensive, but Klosterman is just more of a FIFA card. People recognize um, his name as being OP in FIFA. And if you actually compare him to Tomori, he's not that far off. Like minus one pace, minus one physical minus one defense he's got better dribbling better passing better shooting but who cares and i know he's not english or you know he's not tamori but like that's a really really insane card for 80k so that's a card that i've got my eye on we just need some more bundesliga hype to make something like that go up so there's plenty of cards in this team that i think could potentially rise out of packs but it just comes down to what the content is today if the prices drop because if the card prices don't drop then i may not be in for an investment there. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm hoping that we see a loading screen today. Like we need something related to team two. We need some sort of news. We need some sort of confirmation of leaks. Like Foot Sheriff has been very, very quiet. And I mean, maybe that's just because EA have not been posting anything, but I would almost have to imagine that that would change a little bit today. So definitely keep an eye out for a loading screen changing today or just remember last week when they dropped the loading screen, we, we saw KDB and we saw content and we were like, those guys were not leaked before, so maybe we'll have a bit of a surprise with those or some other cards on the loading screen today. Just keep an eye out for that there. Now, in other words, uh, we do have most likely another swap token coming today via marquee matchups. Of course, it's last of call as well if you're doing the current set of marquee matchups to make sure to get that first SBC done. This token is going to be going away in the Sweden versus Switzerland. That's going to be going away today. So probably a new one dropping in there featuring some club football, right? Because this was World Cup marquee matchups. This should be going away, I would imagine, and we get legit marquee matchups. 
But who knows? Um, I was not expecting to see the World Cup marquee matchups again last week. But that should be where our token is today. If you missed yesterday's token, it is token number 16. It was in the Silver Stars objective. Um, the Silver Stars pass lack player from Dortmund was the player. Uh, it's in objectives, actually. Yeah, it's right here. Silver Stars, that's where our token was yesterday. Again, just to check the token tracker. It was Kristoff was his name. So you've got a week to do that. January 4th is the expiration date uh, for Kristoff there. And I think a couple tokens are expiring today as well on the 29th. Yeah, you've got the Team of the Tournament Challenge 2 and the marquee matchups both expiring today on Thursday. So it's going to be a pretty interesting day on the market. I think the market in general as well, you've seen a lot of high prices this week. If we start to get more news about the promo tomorrow and about stuff that's going to be dropping this weekend, I do think that some of the high prices that we've seen could maybe drop off a little bit. But again, there's so much gameplay demand for people to qualify for Weekend League um, and to have those A teams ready since EA gifted everybody the opportunity to qualify for Weekend League. Um, there's going to be a lot more people in the Weekend League this weekend, which is going to be something we'll be talking about here very soon, especially watching on the market Friday um, with a lot more demand for teams, team building and stuff like that. We've seen it this week. The market's done very, very well. And, um, you know, it could cause a little bit of extra panic heading into tomorrow and Friday, but I think that trend is going to continue on Friday night. So we will just have to see what EA could spice up for us today on a Thursday. Who knows, right? EA surprised us like you did yesterday with the Jarzinho. We would love that. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.